Ruth, you're busy. We've got a walk-in downstairs. Says he's got some information. Since when do we deal with walk-ins? Well, he's not a civilian. He's the RIPA authorising officer for New Cross Council. He's a council snooper. All right, you do the paperwork. I ran a background check on our walk-in. It's interesting, to say the least. Keith Deary first applied to MI5 in 2002. Promising scores on the initial round, but at the time he applied, he'd recently suffered a bereavement. His wife had died. His application was rejected on the grounds that he was psychologically unfit. He didn't tell me any of this. Reapplied. 2006, 7 and 8. All applications turned down on the same grounds. He's got a history of clinical depression. And check this out. He was admitted to hospital March last year. Suspected suicide attempt. That's what we in the trade call an unreliable source. Well, he did lose his wife. Eight years ago. What's the time limit on grief? Not for normal people, not for us. I've just been doorstepped by our friend from the council. Deary? Yeah, I feel bad about it. Well, he doorsteps you and you feel bad about it. No, I was cruel to him. You're too soft, Evershed. No, isn't that? I mean, we've had cranks before, but the, the messages are always called Russian or Islamic. And those words look French to me. And if he's trying to impress us, then why bring us an incinerated note? Look, personally, I wouldn't pursue it, but... Your instincts are good. You should follow up. I don't suppose you're up for some facial recognition. I'd love to, but I'm about to meet my first Mafia boss. They just pulled him off a boat in the Thames with about 50 million in laundered euros. I'm going to pick him up. Ask Tarek. <laughs>